Okay, so I am, uh, you see, this, this video is going to be about... Residual plot. Okay. <laughs> what is, is that? And by the way, this is still a topic linear regression. Okay. Oh, we're still in the linear regression topic. So... We haven't deviated. So the residual plot is... Uh, is plotting, is a way of plotting, uh, a, a date, a date, a data set, oh, a data set, residual plot is a way of plotting a data set in a different way than a scatter plot. Okay, so a scatter plot, Is you know what was done before? We, we had a graph, and uh, we put a whole bunch of points in the graph. And we fit a line through that graph. Now, as a human being eyeballing it, I, uh, <laughs> that's the graph. Okay, a residual plot, actually, you don't see the line. You don't see the line. A residual plot is like a, a bar graph. To look at the distance between the points and the line, and put that distance right at its x location. So right here. Then take a look at the next one and find its distance. And put that distance on its x location. Now let's take a look at this one and find its distance. And put it on its x location. Take a look at this one's distance. Put it at its x location. Take a look at this one's distance. This one's going to be a high one. Let's take a look at this one and find its distance between itself and the line. And that right here. I get the idea. So, oh boy, I guess she's gonna keep going. This Okay, so take a look at this one's distance. Okay, so... And the dots is the input. Yeah. Yeah, so we're... We take a look at this... This is the line. And put it... Put that vertical line at its... X location. Let's take a look at this one. Find its distance and put it 
at its X location. Get this one's distance. Don't go so, Now take a look at this one's distance. Put it at its X location. It's right here. Oh boy, I'm almost done. Take a look at this one's distance. location. This is approximately the this is approximately the residual plot of this scatter plot. And uh, if we were drawing these lines, this is going to be a uh, scatter plot. The slope is going to be the same, right? If you if you draw the slope. So this is the residual but if you draw the line now, will it be the same line? Uh, as, as a human being, uh, I eyeball it with this line. But if I, if I just if it, so you can see, this is the residual plot. Uh, so. Uh, On the line, you don't actually have to draw it because uh, it's already it's there, it's on this line. So, uh, okay, so I think I am going to, uh, um, so, oh. <laughs> okay, so there is, by the way, something. So this is about residual plot. Video oh, about the residual plot. And and by the way, uh, we are uh, 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 going to implement. A, a, it's, I don't don't know if I'm going to do that yet before the next video or after the next video. We're going to implement AMS Chrome's uh, quartet and uh, the residual plot. So I'm... You so want to combine both of them in one video. So, no, 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 I don't want to do that. But in, no, no, I, I want to, in, in, in my website, I want to, sometime, and sometime I want to implement and Scones Quartet and the residual plot uh, on, on uh, my website. Which website? You know, uh, our blog. That tutorial. Oh, the website that you actually, the little website that you made about linear regression. Now, now, okay, so you can also combine Anscombe's quartet with this. Oh, by the way, by the way, there is something really magical. If you plot, if you were to use a residual plot to make a bar graph of the second set of dots, of uh, Anne Scope's uh, quartet, you are going to get a perfectly 
this is what you'll get. You'll get now almost, obviously. Almost. So if you will plot, if you were to plot the second, symmetrical curve. Now, I think there's another special thing, which is you're uh, going to uh, get, if you, if you will plot uh, number three, number four, you will also get some of these results. Number one is going to be uh, Okay, so this is plot number of number three. This is plot of number four. And uh, you are going to get a descending, you're going to get descending bars. Quartet. No, no, will not uh, get. Uh, will not be that interesting. <laughs> okay, so I think this really concludes this video. This was about the residual. The residual, residual plot. The, the, right, the, the, the uh, difference between a scatter plot and a residual plot, as well as combining the residual plot with Anscombe's quartet. Thank you, Simon. Oh, and you made it all point upwards, and it should be upwards and downwards. So... This one is above the line, and the next one is below the line. No, as a human being eyeballing it, you can see I uh, 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 have this, uh, th this is the uh, residual uh, plot, right? So this is the, mis the correction. I, I have, so uh, this is kind of the uh, addendum. <laughs> to the residual plot video. Yeah. Yeah, and, oh, who knows? Maybe, maybe there's gonna be another addendum. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay to make mistakes.